Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Nathan. In today's video, we're going to learn how to do Ardha Kapotasana, which is the Sanskrit term that translates to half pigeon pose in English. So when you're ready, let's get started. I'd like us all to start off by taking a comfortable seat, closing our eyes and breathing in deeply. Inhale and exhale. So regulating our breath before we get into postures is really important. If we don't get our breathing correct, it can make everything a lot more challenging and we won't feel the full benefits of the postures we're getting into. So breathe in and breathe out. And as you're breathing in and as you're breathing out, just try and get yourself as relaxed as possible. At this point, we want our breath and our body to fully integrate. So you should be moving as one. We'll take one more breath, inhale. And exhale. Open your eyes. From here, I'd like us all to get into tabletop position. So we'll get onto our hands and our knees. So here we want our hands to be directly underneath our shoulders and our knees to be directly underneath our hip flexors. And then we're going to take our right leg and we're just going to kick it back and then bring it in and move it forward. Now we're just going to allow our back leg to rest on the ground, but we want this leg to be very active. Now, not everyone is that flexible, so if you need to take a blanket or you need a block, please do that. And with the front leg, we're going to slowly inch our foot towards the corner of our mat. So I know um, a lot of teachers teach this position with the front leg being at a 90 degree angle. That's great if you can do it, but not everyone can. So don't feel bad about that if you can't, only do what feels comfortable for you. You can still gain all of the benefits without hurting yourself. So yeah, do everything slowly. And as I said earlier, if you're back here, that's absolutely fine. But if you can inch forward, then do that. Okay, so from here, we want the front foot flexed and active. We want the back foot flexed and active. And we want the leg to be grounded and strong. And then we want our heads and our spines to align with one another. And we can look up here. Or gaze straight ahead, it's entirely up to you. You should feel at ease in this posture. I know not everyone does, especially if you're a beginner. But with time and with practice, you will get there. So inhale. And exhale. Now, if you're feeling a little bit more flexible, you can take your shoulders, sorry, your elbows, and just rest them on the ground. We can just rest here for a little while. See how that feels for you. And if you can't, then don't do it. That's absolutely fine. Just make sure you're doing what feels good. And if you're feeling a little bit more flexible, we can then stretch our arms straight out in front of us and melt down to the floor. This is a hip opening asana. It's really good for digestion, very good for your posture. And it's really good for relaxing you. 
and easing any symptoms of anxiety and stress. So when you're ready to exit this pose, we'll get back up. Align our heads and our spines. And then we'll go back into tabletop position. Now from here, we're going to do exactly the same, but just with the other leg. So we're going to kick out our left leg bring it into our body, move it forward, and allow our right leg to touch the ground behind us. Again, both legs are going to be active and strong and grounded. So yeah, one side is usually more flexible than the other. I think the other side was more flexible for me. Um, so it, it doesn't have to be the same on both sides. If you could get your foot to a 90 degree angle on the other side and you can't hear, that's fine. Again, we're going to keep our head and our spines aligned here. Take a deep breath. And you should feel a nice gentle stretch along your hips. Keep your shoulders down and your chest open. Now from here we're going to just get onto our elbows and you can just stay here for a little while if you can. And if you feel like it, you can then stretch your arms straight out in front of you and allow your head to melt to the ground. We'll take one more breath, inhale, and exhale, and we'll bring ourselves up, and from here we'll get back into tabletop position. And then we'll get ourselves into a comfortable seat. So that was my video on Ada Kapotasana. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or any questions, please leave them below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Yoga with Nothing. Thank you, Namaste.